Okay, this is the settings on this bridge. Hello YouTube, today we are going to test can you run Starlink and a 12 volt refrigerator off a 100 watt panel and a 500 watt battery and inverter. So this is the device here, this is F1, I'm not sure what that is, that's a problem I'm sure. But we'll connect to that. I'll stitch in pictures of the app and what temperatures are set on the app. So we're gonna. This has got a built-in battery. This is called the Change More refrigerator. We've got a Rock Pals uh, 500 watt inverter with a 500 watt battery, watt hour battery. So that's gonna run all that. So let's turn on DC and AC. that turned on so the all power the refrigerator comes with a 12 volt adapter doesn't come with the battery but you can buy the battery separately it also has a built-in solar charger so I could actually in reality plug the solar panel what I have connected here directly into there I uh, hobo tech does a phenomenal review of this refrigerator I won't be going as in-depth as him he said this is just a test but you can head over to Hobotech's channel and find the review of the Change More. This is an all power, portable 100 watt solar panel. And then we've got Dishy over here, which I don't think is powered on yet. So we have no power for Dishy yet. Let's see if we can get Dishy powered up and we'll get the pl fridge plugged in and then we'll get right back to you. Dish is now awake. So Sky, Starlink is awake and searching. Got the unit here in the back of my car. Solar panel's hooked up. I gotta get in the app of the change more and see what's going on with it. I set that to minus one, I doubt you can see it in the sunlight. We are at full battery on the Rock Pals. We're pulling 56 watts right now for the Starlink. And I got this guy plugged in as well. Into the DC, let me make sure that's on. So that's that. We'll come back and we'll check all these things and I'll go over in more detail how everything's working. Got two uh, ambient temperature bottles of water. I'm going to put one in the freezer compartment and one in the fridge compartment. So this is the inside. It is really deep. I'm um, going to drop this one in the freezer in the center. Drop this one in the fridge. Right now the current temperature in here is about 28 at the top, 32, it's about freezing. So we're gonna leave that locked in there and see how that goes. Put the panels up, dishes up, everything seems to be working. So I'm gonna let this stuff sit. See how many watts we're using right now. Oh. Starlink's using 43. In about 12 hours, I'm at 100%, 99%, 100% battery. The solar panel's holding the is actually putting more power in probably than it's taking out. The unit was fully charged when I came out here. But I want to make sure this is going to hold things long enough to hold the refrigerator and the battery. So you can see the, zoom in on that a little bit. AC is on, DC is on. And this is an older, this is my very first um, battery unit I have. It's the smallest one I have. It's a Rock Pals. 500, I believe it's called. It's 500 watts, uh, 500 watt inverter. So it can certainly handle the Starlink. 
Uh, it's only the Starlink. Since I don't get freezing temperatures here, I hardly ever see above 60 to 70 watts for that unit. Um, I am also pulling the 12 volt, obviously, for the fridge, but it's just it's just charging the battery that's in the fridge. So that's what that's doing. You see the battery there? It's at uh, two and flashing. Hopefully, it'll continue holding the, that up. We'll come back to you in a little bit. So this fridge is running. Let you hear it. It's really quiet for a 12 volt refrigerator. I'll have a links to all these products in the description. That's it coming on right now. Basic features, it has a USB outlet on the top here, so you can charge your phone if you want to from it. Uh, cup holders, obviously, and a little flat spot. This flat spot is actually for a cutting board that's inside here. My water's vibrating. It is chilly in there. So the top you get a little more chilly. I turned the temperature down on the refrigerator compartment to get just kick it up a little bit. Um, and then it's got also got a bottle opener. On this side, because everybody needs a bottle opener for their 12 volt fridge. The all power panel is a 100 watt panel. Um, I'll get the details in the description. Um, portable, it's very light. It comes with a bunch of cables for charging things. It comes with the standard solar connectors, which I'm using right there with the Rock Pals plug. Um, very easy to set up, very light, very portable which is what I'm looking for, for some of this stuff that I can just bring out here and run a small setup on a small panel. Absolutely beautiful day out here to do the testing for solar panels. Not a cloud in the sky, just blue sky all as far as you can see. And this is why people come to Arizona for the winter because it is 70 degrees on January 30th. No snow. So. So when both the refrigerator and the Starlink are on, I'm using 112 to 115 watts of power. So that will only hold, this unit will only hold that for four hours, but the unit won't run like that forever. So it's on and off. When it's off, it's like 12 hours. But during the day, like this, I'm keeping this thing as a constant 99, 100% with the solar panel. So that's really good. So my Starlink dish is sitting not quite where it's going to be. It'll be up. I'm going to build a 16 by 16 structure here, shed, and I'm going to mount the Starlink on top of that. Really shouldn't have any obstructions because it's really constantly facing just a up north northeast, or sorry, north northwest most of the time. So there is a one cactus here that might get in the way, but I'm going to have it up on a 10 foot roof. So I think I'm going to be good getting really good speeds, um, it fluctuates. That little battery unit is doing really well holding these two things up. So I may be able to leave that. I'd rather leave a you know a $300 battery unit in my shed powering this stuff while I'm not here than a um, you know $1,000 or $2,000 unit. Everything seems to be working great. Uh, power's coming in. I haven't dropped below. Let's see where we're at. Uh, so we are charging right now. It's like 97. So we're not quite holding because we keep jumping up to 100. So we're just a 100 watt panel. We're probably pulling in 70 watts. It doesn't give me an, how, the input voltage, which really kind of sucks on this unit. Um, if I had my Blue Eddy here, it would tell me what the input voltage is. But we are dropping a little bit, so we're obviously using more power than we're putting in, but we are offsetting it. Like I said, this is a 100 watt panel, so I'm guessing I'm getting 75 watts out of it, 80 watts out of it probably. So we can hold its own for a while, and the sun moves, so I probably should tilt the panels a little more to get better. Uh, so the sun's there, the panels are aiming a little more to the south. Refrigerator's still going. Let's see where we're at. So we're at 
at uh, 21 and 27 now it says on the screen. We are at uh, oh, is that 40 degrees at the top of the fridge. Bottle's not cold yet. This bottle's not cold yet. So it takes a while. I brought it out. I had it running a little wet on the way here just to see how it did. Uh, it did cool down the freezer section a few degrees in the 30 minutes drive I had. So I'm going to keep it running on my trek home. See if it does keep everything cool or if it craps out. I'll probably plug it into my cigarette light adapter in my car just to keep it going. Uh, the battery should theoretically be charging. Battery's at two and holding it to right now. Like I said, I could plug what I've got plugged into the Blue Eddy into directly into this and start it charging. So let's try that real quick. Pull this out of the Blue Eddy or out of the Rock Pals and we'll go around that leg. Right now it's just running off its own little battery. One-handed manipulation is not the best. There we go. So now, see that light's flashing. It's getting some charge. And it's draining, so it's doing, with solid green, I imagine it's getting more power than it's pulling. But it's flashing green and blue. I have to look at the instructions, see what they say, but it is getting it was solid blue before, now it's green, blue, green, blue. I'm guessing green is solar power. So, gotta rotate these a little bit, get a little better. See how we're doing there. Now we are solid green. I moved the panels so they're more in line with the sun. And it's charging the battery now. And then this thing's just working off its own battery, powering the, powering the uh, Starlink. So we'll see how that goes. That's very, very hard to see, but you can see that the solar power is p charging the battery on this. And we're at 25 degrees in the freezer and 14 in the fridge now, even though I didn't want it to be 14. So I'll check the app and see where it's set. So after all that, we still ended up at 99. So the solar held this up. The Starlink is not much of a drain. The refrigerator has its own battery. So I'm wondering if I'm gonna get it like a small solar panel just for it. Um, I'll splice this all together, get this up, get the links in the description box. Thanks you all for coming out today, joining me. Have a great day. And please like, share, and subscribe like everybody says. And I'll talk to you soon. So it actually got down to temperature. On the way back, it actually, and it still has two bars of battery life left. I didn't, the picture didn't tell you it has LED lights that light up the containers. This is very cold. Don't know where that's sitting, but let's take a look, see if we can find it. Just above zero. And this is the refrigerator section, it's cool. So it's doing real well. Take these out, go ahead and shut this off. And that'll be it for this unit.